Hey, uh, why don't we go back to Sea Deck? So, welcome back, everyone. This is Wooded Dude, and I'm back with uh, nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. Uh, last time we had a shady conversation with Lotus, and you know, Snake disappeared. Yeah, so uh, we are looking for him right now. Uh, as we speak, I'm uploading the last episode. Let's see if I can get this one done with and upload it tonight as well. And I hope you enjoyed it. So let's go back to Sidak, shall we? We can take a look at that hallway with all the rooms. Okay, let's get going then. Oh, it's Ace. I love the soundtrack, like the mystery soundtrack. Hey, Snake! Where are you? Answer me if you're there! Let's so, go. Let's talk to him, right? Ah, hello there. This dude is looking hard. Snake is... Well, that's obvious, isn't it? I assume you haven't found him yet? Yeah, doesn't seem like you're having any luck either. I really wonder where he could have gone. Well, wherever he's disappeared to, we must find him as quickly as we can. For Clover's sake. This dude looks like a, like a detective or something. Right! By the way, um, do you think Clover and Snake are really siblings? Uh, why would you say that? Why? <laughs> well, it's obvious, isn't it? They don't look alike. They don't look alike at all. <laughs> Same words. Yes, you know, now that you mention it, they don't. Still, there are a great many siblings who do not look like one another. Yeah, my siblings were... For instance, like we don't look alike at all. One of the, one is really thin. The other one is really fat. I'm in the middle. I'm not fat, but I'm not skinny either. Uh, and we look very, very different. Otherwise, like don't look alike at all. Even the skin color is, is <laughs> a bit different. <laughs> It certainly isn't rare. Like the complexity... Is that called? Complexion? Yeah. At any rate, we really must find Snake as soon as possible. The clock is ticking. We really can't afford to waste any time. <sighs> Very well. Let's get back to the search, shall we? You can leave this area to me. All right. Let's go, Jumpy. So I think we are done, Something right? Something about that was... Nah, I'll think on it later. What do you mean? Like Ace said, finding Snake is our top priority. Alright, where should we go next? Yeah, we've been there... already, right? First class cabin? Have we been there? Let's go check out the first class. Okay, I'm coming! <sighs> no one's here. Maybe we'll have more luck somewhere else. But where? Oh yeah, we've been there already, so we need to go Let's back. Let's head to... back to the large hospital room. I w I assume that once you've checked out something, it would disappear, but it hasn't. So let's All go right. back. All right, that's probably the best idea. Hey, wait, that's Santa. Santa. Suck him. What are you doing? What? You can't tell? I'm checking out the red. Why? Is there something bothering you? What? It's not bothering you? What the fuck is that in your hair, man? Huh? This... The guts of this red. Why wouldn't you wonder who the hell put it back in here? The guts. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, I'm curious too, but... Who do you think did it? I don't know. Well, what about you, Junpei? Who do you think fixed this thing for us? Hmm. Let's think. Snake might have... He's missing. Lotus was the first one back here. And she really is trying to get out of the ship. Zero could have done it. 
you know. But why the fuck? So why the fuck we he take that out? Otherwise, like makes no sense why he would take unless he wanted everyone to disperse so he could kidnap Snake. But Snake was. Uh, he was like Daredevil, so he, he could fight. Uh, I don't think Zero could kidnap him that easily. But again, he has kidnapped us all, so I'd say Zero. I think it was probably Zero. Why? Isn't that obvious? He's the guy who set this whole thing up. You don't think that should mean the opposite? Seems to me like that means he didn't do it. I mean, who do you think took that stuff out in the first place? Probably Zero. Yeah, exactly. And why the hell would he put him back in after he'd taken them out himself? It just doesn't make sense. Why do all that work? <sighs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. So what happened then? Who put that stuff back in the reds? So, in other words, one of us is the person who fixed the red. Bingo, we have a winner. But if that's true, then the person who did it doesn't want the rest of us to know that they fixed it. Because the person is the same one that kidnapped Snake? Yeah, but why? No idea. Maybe if they come clean on that, it means we'd find out something else. Something bad. Something bad? Don't know. But whatever it is, it's gotta be worth hiding. Hmm. Of course, it could have something to do with Snake's disappearance. You think maybe they did something to Snake? Yeah. Oh. Look, if you trust anybody in this game, you're gonna lose. You've gotta be careful. The person you trust the most could turn out to be the one who stabs you in the back. Akane. And that's that, I guess. <laughs> no, she looks so sweet. She would never... Where would they go next? Yeah, I think we're done, right? Snake hasn't been anywhere we've searched. And we can't keep looking for him. Wherever he is, it's not here. We need to get moving. We don't got a choice. Lotus is right. We're not gonna find Snake. There's a problem, though. We've gotta figure out who's gonna go through which door. Yes, I have a proposal. Why don't we decide on one person to sacrifice? Sacrifice? Well, perhaps that's a bit of a harsh word, but yes. You've all figured it out by now, haven't you? We can't all make it through those doors. If we split into two teams of four and three people respectively, then three people will be left behind. If we split into two teams of five and two people respectively, then two people will be left behind. Hmm. But if we split into two groups of three, and leave one person out, then only one person will be left behind. Yeah, so... Hmm... Let's see here... Did we choose number four? No, nah, number five, right? So... Oh, I keep pressing the wrong... Then... You're saying we gotta decide who's gonna stay behind? Mm-hmm. So it doesn't really matter. Huh? Yes, we do. We need to leave someone. Given our circumstances, it's logically and morally the best solution. If the other six are to survive, then one person has to sacrifice themselves. All right. No, that's too cruel! What's so cruel about it? Too 
to just sacrifice someone like that? Yeah, I'm just thinking who to sacrifice, because, uh, you know, I don't think anyone is, is going to do that willingly. Then what's your plan? Maybe we should sacrifice two people instead of just one. Yeah, you know, if Snake would have been... I, I'm just thinking, if Snake was here, if uh, we'd be able to go through the doors. That's not what I meant! We shouldn't sacrifice anyone! I, I told you, that's impossible. Or... Wake up! Whoa, whoa, calm down, you two! Look, what Lotus is trying to say is mm -hmm. you should aim to bring the greatest amount of happiness to the greatest amount of people, right? Exactly. That's how democracy works. These people are heartless. And for that Fuck's reason, sake. I think the only fair way to decide who will be sacrificed is through a vote. What do you think? No! That's terrible! Yeah, wouldn't it be just, you know... Uh... You sticks. I'm not asking you. you. Know? Shut up. <laughs> oh shit. What about you, Santa? Me? Well, I agree. I guess. All right. That's one vote for. Counting mine, that's two. Seven. I can't say I agree with you, but we don't exactly have a choice. If we don't do something, we're all gonna die. Huh. Glad to see you get it. If I can get one more vote, then it's decided. What about you, Clover? Clover's out of it. Hey, Clover, your brother has to be behind one of the numbered doors. <laughs> wow, she's so... We searched so... everywhere, but we didn't find him. Doesn't that mean he has to have gone through one of them somehow? The tone in her voice is like super... Uh, let's go look for him together, okay? If we sacrifice one person, then we can go look for him. You agree with me, right? Okay. <laughs> the motion carries. Now, let's start a vote to... That won't be necessary. I will stay. That should solve our problem, yes? What? Uh. 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 Ace, what are you saying? <laughs> no, you can't do that! That won't solve anything! June, I'm afraid you may have misunderstood me. I said I would stay, but I never said I would sacrifice myself. Huh? I trust you. Each and every one of you. Yeah, well... I believe you'll come back for me. Do you? You barely know us, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's optimistic, and then there's just nuts. Those doors only go one way. You go in, you don't come out. If we go through them, you won't be able to return, correct? Yeah. True, but that will not be the case once you've escaped from the ship. What? Please, I beg you. Once you've escaped, come back and rescue me. Ideally, within the time limit Zero has given us. No, that's ridiculous. There's no way we could get back in time. We've only got five hours left. We don't even know where the hell we are. How on earth are we going to find someone to come and rescue you? Then, perhaps you would prefer to stay instead of me? Or perhaps you would be willing to leave June behind? Yeah, we got no choice You here. see, there's no other choice. Then I see we've come to our conclusion. Go on. Don't worry yourselves about me. Go, quickly. Uh... <laughs> <sighs> Good. Let's accept his kind offer then. <laughs> Lotus is <laughs> heartless, man. Good. I think this is the best for me. Perhaps I'll be able to take a nap. It may be my age, but I get tired so easily these days. Yeah, that can't be fucking right. Something is wrong. Well, what are you waiting for? We're wasting time. Why don't we hurry it up? You're right. We should get going. That's all we can do right now. Seven? Seriously. Honestly, I was getting kind of sick of listening to you guys talk. 
You too, Santa? She's evil. I, I have to find my brother. W wait, all of you. Let's just calm down and think about this. There has to be a way to get everyone out. There has to be. Right, Jumpy? Say something. Yeah, let's think. There isn't, There's bro. There's gotta be another way. You know, if he says he's gonna say, Fine. he's gotta say. Forget about it. I'll figure it out on my own. Ace! Come on, Ace. Please stand up. You can't give up yet. We just have to sit down together and think about this. We'll figure out a way that we can all get out of here. <sighs> what? Ace! This fucker has died as well. What the fuck is happening here? What happened? Ace, say something. I'm all right. How are you all right? This. A syringe? Soparil Beta. What does this do? Did... did you use this? Fucker, it's a junkie. Yes. It's just... anesthetic. I'll be... fine. Anesthetic? I found it earlier. While we were searching the hospital rooms, I thought it might be useful later. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be using it on myself. Why did you do this? Didn't I tell you? I'd like to take a nap. I really am very tired. Ace. Hmm? Is there something you want to... Say, I just like to sleep a little. Could you keep it down? Just fucked up. No, don't, Ace. Don't fall asleep. Ah, you feel warm. <laughs> He's fucked up on uh, his mind, man. Yeah, so let's leave him. You know, he, he wanted to sacrifice himself, I think. It's good, because otherwise would be here for like five hours. I mean, somebody, somebody has to do something. Like, Lotus is heartless and all, but she's right. We need to get the fuck out of here. So comfortable. I think I'll have a nice dream. Ace! Ace! Uh, let's get him up on a bed. Well, we really don't have a choice now. We can't let his sacrifice go to waste, right? <sighs> like you even mean that. You say something? No, nothing. Yeah, but we're not done choosing yet, are we? Huh? What do you mean? Well, we haven't decided who's going in what door. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, that's true. <sighs> Enough of this screwing around. Let's decide. You first, Lotus. Which door do you want? I, um... I want door number eight. It's the same number as my bracelet number. Hmm. Got it. You're eight. You're next seven. Which one do you want? I'll take seven. I can't get along with that old lady. What? What did you just say? <laughs> Who, me? I, I didn't say nothing. Oh, you're gonna get it next time. All right, who's next? Junpei, which door do you want? I want... Hmm, do I want to go with seven or with Lotus? Or do I want to go door number three? three. I want to go through door number three. Nope, you can't. Huh? Why? Because it's impossible. If we split ourselves into three and three, then we give up on going through door three. Why? Bracelet numbers for the six of us are three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are two combinations that can go through door three with three people. Three, four, five, or six, seven, eight. That's it. Of uh. course, two teams can't go through the same door. I see. That means one team would get left behind. That's right. That doesn't happen if we go through door seven or eight. No, they're fine. 
We've got three options. Option A. Have three, five, and eight go through door seven. And four, six, seven go through door eight. Four, six, seven. Through door eight. Option B. Four, five, and seven go through seven. And three, six, and eight go through eight. Option C. Three, six, and seven go through seven. And four, five, and eight get eight. All right. Those are the only three options. That's it. At least if we want to get all six of us out of here. Wait. But that means five and six can never be on the same team. Oh, so I can never go with June. If we want all six of us to go through a door, then June and I can't go into the same one. Let me have a look here. Flow chart. Oh. Uh, I mean, here. So, if I go. If I went. Hmm. If I want. I'm five. So, if I want to go through door number three, who do I take with me? Santa's three, right? So eight. Mm. Three. So we didn't need some five. If I take let's get seven. So if I take this four. This is three. So three for five. Good. Hmm. I guess he said that before. I wasn't paying attention. Probably I'm dumb. Uh, but yeah, four, five, six, and the other combinations that I, I, uh, I put in a, on the calculator were for the other doors. So yeah, so. He's right. <sighs> Have you molded over enough, or do you need more time? Anyway, that's the deal, so think it over. You've got two choices, seven or eight. You can't choose three. If you choose three, you're gonna be leaving three people behind to die. So what are you gonna do? See, here's the thing. There's a door right besides three, so I'm thinking. Seven or eight. Why time is that? Choose. You know, the door number three is, uh, there's a door just besides three. So I think, I'm thinking, is that coming back towards us? Or what the fuck? Sorry, Let's... Santa, but I still want to go through door three. What? That's nuts! You've got to be crazy! Why the hell are you so obsessed with that door? I'm just... <laughs> I just want to know! I'm just curious about door three. That's all. You know, the game doesn't want me to go through that door, so I want to go to that door. That doesn't explain shit! I've got a reason. I'd be happy to explain it to you if you'll just come with me. I'm curious about the red. Seven, would, would you mind authenticating for me? What? Why? Please, just do it. Happy? Yeah, thanks. The number seven has been entered into the red. Next is June. Uh, please touch the red just like seven did. Jumpy, what are you trying to figure out? Ah, yep. I think... I think I might have found another way out. What? What? Really? Now please, June? Oh, okay. All right. The only people who haven't authenticated now are Santa, Clover, and Lotus. So, what's your point? 
You don't get it. Uh, think about it. Huh? What's the sum of your number and Clover's? Twelve. And what's the digital root of that? Three. Three. Which is Santa's number. By the way, Lotus, uh, what's the number that's currently in the red? Seven plus six plus five equals eighteen. It would be nine, right? Yes. And what will the digital root be if you add three to that? Three. The door's number. There you go! Hey, wait a minute! What the hell are you up to? I'm not up to anything. I'm just waiting. What the fuck? Jumpe, what waiting the fuck? For what? I'm waiting for the balance to shift. Santa, or Lotus and Clover. Once one of you moves, the others won't have a choice. So I'm waiting. You son of a bitch! You tricked us! <laughs> I wasn't anticipating that. And all that stuff you were going on about is all bullshit! Bullshit? Huh? I don't think so. Didn't I tell you I'd figured out another way to get out of here? This is it. Why the hell would you do something like this? Jumpy? Yeah, what the fuck, Jumpy? I <laughs> wasn't thinking he would do that. You did this just so you could go through the same door as June. Oh, so that is... That's it? So, who's it going to be? Santa? Or Lotus and Clover? Shit! <laughs> Let's go, Clover. Huh? Fuck! Holy shit! Uh, no, wait! <laughs> this is insane! This isn't right! Yeah, well... You may be right, but... Jupe is heartless, man. What the fuck is happening? Oh, no! You son of a bitch, Junpei! This isn't fair! Do you realize what you just did? You leave them out there, and they can't... Shut it! That's enough! We gotta find the dead or none of this is gonna matter! We got less than a minute left! No time for screwing around! Get moving! Damn it! You and I are not done yet, bastard! Where? Where the hell is it? Over there! It's gotta be behind the door! Damn! It's pitch dark inside! Can't see a thing! No, wait! I found it! The dead's right over here! Ugh. What? What? What indeed, my friends. We're gonna find out next time when we play 999. And we're gonna find out what the fuck happened to Junpei there. Like, that's fucked up. What is that? <laughs> it did? This is insane. I didn't know that. Like, what the fuck did he mean to leave two people behind for no reason? Just because I chose number number three. You know, we I didn't anticipate that, right? So he just did something totally crazy. But we're gonna find out next time and we're gonna find out what's behind door number three, alright? Cheers, please. See you next time.